Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to get back into the uh, the line test. We're gonna test some uh, 20 pound and 12 pound fluorocarbon on a half ounce uh, Berkeley Warpig. It may even be five eighths ounce. We're gonna check the depths, see how different it is. Um, pretty cool, pretty cool results on this also. Don't forget Wednesday we're gonna have live from the MLF if the signal permits. Um, gonna be out on the water on Caney, uh, Caney Lake or Caney Creek Reservoir as they're saying. Um, probably following some pros. Hopefully we follow some big names. I'd love to follow Kevin Van Dam, but he may not make it. So it's going to be a really tough event, but I think y'all enjoy this. And I understand it's not crystal clear screen. Let's start that before the people get in on me. But the screens, when they go to Active Captain Ham, it always gets a little fuzzier. And I don't know why. The screen's always clearer on the, on the fish finder than it is on the actual ham feature but you can see the baits real well we're going to learn some stuff from this thanks for watching thanks for subscribing if i don't get a message today from steve may i'm going to redraw tomorrow uh, for the giveaway which is two plano edge tackle boxes and i'm also going to announce the new giveaway tomorrow that's awesome too gonna have a lot of big stuff coming tomorrow so uh thanks for watching thanks for subscribing and let's get into this video. All right, guys, let's get straight into it. Here we are, 20 pound test. It's a half ounce war pig. It actually may be a five, five eighths ounce. I can't remember what Berkeley labels theirs. I made three casts uh, with this bait on 20 pound fluorocarbon. And of course, m like most other tests, the consistency is, you know, right on, I mean, six foot, maybe six and a half. It doesn't vary much. That's one thing I can say about the 20 pound line. It's just very consistent, about six and a half feet. Um, you can see the bait real well there, come in about 50 feet, um, right on the money. I make another long cast, and I make three casts with 20 pound, and I'm telling you, it is very, very, very consistent. And that is something I have found over and over and over uh, with the 20 pound line, no matter what test I do. Here comes another bait in, right along, right there, about six and a half foot. You can see the bait perfectly. Um, and this is before the new update. And I think I've said in the uh, opening that for some reason, when you transfer it to Active Captain on the helm feature, you see a lot more than you see on your screen. I don't know that. I don't know why. Um, I will say the pixels are always higher on your phone and always higher on, say, like iPads. That's my little girl. She's in here having a good time. And here's another cast, six foot, six and a half. Uh, I mean, just so consistent. But we're finna move up to 20, I mean, 12 pound line. Or move down to 12 pound line. And you'll notice that the depth, I would say the average depth is eight foot, but it's. It's not a consistent eight foot. Like, here we go. This is about seven and a half, maybe touches eight there. That's on the first cast. I actually made four casts on this one. I actually made four casts on this one because I just wasn't, uh, I, I just was trying to test the consistency. Look, look like there's a fish there about 23 foot right there. Just kind of suspended up. That's my kind of fish too. But um, the first one was about, you know, seven foot here comes one in and it comes in um about okay about seven seven and a half and like i said i made four casts because just trying to because it was so inconsistent like you know a half a foot a foot and even a foot and a half i think one of them gets down to almost nine feet and the only thing that i can actually say that that may actually affect this is is the sink rate when the bait hits the water. What I tried to do was cast the bait out, let it hit the water, and almost immediately start reeling. Like you can see this bait right here, it's touching nine foot. So maybe when you make those casts with those lighter lines, it affects the sink rate initially. It's like a 20 pound line kind of holds it up, allows a consistent, that 12 pound, that bait kind of takes off toward the bottom a lot quicker. Maybe that maybe that's part of it. Um, and maybe that helps. You know that actually, you know, helps with the ink or hurts with the inconsistency of the 12-pound line. Guys, thanks for watching. Here comes another one in. 
and there you go. It's about eight, eight and a half foot. See, kind of inconsistent, but you do get the more depth. We've learned that. So thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Let's get out of here. Look tomorrow for the new videos.